everyone. Welcome to this tutorial on Kony Fabric. In this video, we want to talk to you about an exciting feature of Kony's object services, the Visual Object Mapper. We created the Visual Object Mapper to make it really simple and really powerful for you to use Kony's object service capabilities to its limits. The Visual Object Mapper will help you link your application's data model to any live backend response and will also help you transform your service response to align with the data model. Let's take a look at how Kony's object services work. The main goal of object services is to allow you to achieve true decoupling of your front-end application from your back-end services. You can do this by defining a common app data model and building your front-end application against this data model. Until your back-end services are up and running, you can use Fabric storage services with this data model to get your application built out. Once your back-end services are up and running, you can easily switch your back-end connections from the interim storage services to your live services and map the data model to your backend responses. This eliminates the dependency of the front-end and back-end teams on each other, allowing them to develop their modules independently and plug them together whenever they are ready. The Visual Mapper, as the name suggests, creates a visual representation of your front-end data model and your backend objects to help you easily grasp the relationships between both these objects. There are a variety of transformational logic blocks that you can apply on both these objects to help you develop your mapping quickly. Due to the visual aspect of the mapper, any new user of your project will be able to easily understand the functional flow of your service. For this video, we will use the employee directory application available in Kony Marketplace to demonstrate the use of visual mapping. We will map the application to a new backend service and map the new response to the app data model. The employees listing page of this application shows the list of employees in a company, along with their designation and department. This application comes built in with Kony's object services using a storage connector. Now that my front-end application is built and tested, I want to switch my back-end source to a Salesforce repository and display the response in the employees directory application. To do so, clone the data model you have built your application against and provide your required configurations. You see that the new service now contains the same data model you had built your app against with no backend mapping. I will now need to map an object in my data model against the suitable backend fields. In this case, I know that the employee underscore C object on the backend contains the data I need. I can create the CRUD mappings against this backend and add the required methods. Now you can configure your selected method by mapping the backend field against the fields of your selected object model. Take a look at the two nodes displayed on the screen. The node on your right hand side represents the object model and the left node represents your backend model. To configure the mapping for this method, simply create links between the required fields from the backend to the data model. For example, the first name and last name correspond to name fields on the data model and the internal business title and department return the data for employee designations and departments respectively. There are a lot more features available with the mapper. You can perform string manipulations, format conversions, check for logical conditions, and also link responses based on a defined condition using the choose when constraint. Test out the new mapping as usual. You will see that your data model is now populated with data from your new backend. It's that simple. For more details of object services and other interesting features about the Kony platform, do check out Kony Basecamp. We look forward to seeing you there.